Hello from Mets Trade. Today we're going to talk about Yacht Device's digital switching products. Uh, the core of the digital switching products are the circuit control module. It's a four circuit control with connections for the loads themselves, as well as control buttons and indicator lights. So when a load is turned on, you can see the indicator LED on the switch, uh, indicator LED on the push button, and the light itself goes on. You can also see our status is being updated here on the MFD, as well as here on the iPad. Uh, this iPad is connected to the Yacht Devices Wi-Fi gateway. Uh, the web page that we've loaded are called Web Gauges. They allow you to control any of the loads, as well as view data on your NEMA 2000 network. So here we're seeing a little bit of wind and uh, rudder heading data, etc. The switching can also be controlled from an MFD, a Raymarine, Simrad, or Garmin MFD. If you go to yachtd.com, there's a web page where you can uh, put in the labels for your switches and produce a config file that can be loaded in your MFD. So here you can see we have a port, our starboard, and our fog control of these circuits from elsewhere on the boat. You can connect a switch control module. The switch control module has connections for the switch and the indicator lights. Uh, here we can turn on and off our loads from another location in the boat. You can see again they're being updated. The switch control on the circuit control and on the buttons connected to the secondary circuit control itself. All these circuit loads can also be controlled from any of our sensors. The yacht device's sensors all have the ability to uh, trigger a circuit control event if uh, a temperature threshold is reached, a humidity threshold is reached, the tank is full or empty. So for instance, we could light a light if the fuel tank is low on fuel or if the waste tanks are full. We can also interface with our new alarm button. The alarm button has three modes. It can be used as an alarm. Uh, here it's set up as a man overboard button, so if I push and hold this, it triggers an alarm, an audible alarm in the speaker, but it also sends a NEMA 2000 uh, AIS man overboard alarm. So you can see here, you know, the, on the MFD we've got our position and the uh, MOB active alarm. Uh, we could go back to where we lost our person overboard, but in this case we're just going to press OK. In addition to our sensors and circuit control, we have our Wi-Fi gateway, um, our USB gateway for connection directly to a PC, and we have uh, a new Ethernet gateway as well uh, that will start shipping soon. Our temperature sensors are here. Uh, as well as our NEMA 2000 bridge for connecting two networks. The next module in the switching line is our run indicator. The run indicator allows monitoring of any load on the boat and indicating when that load is on and also measuring with a shunt how much power is being consumed. Up to 20 amps at 40 volts. Uh, we can indicate if a bilge pump is running, if a bilge pump is running too often, if it's consuming too much current, if the freshwater pump is maybe running and indicating a leak, we can show if the running lights are on, any number of loads can be demonstrated and we can show if they're on or off and if there's a problem with them. So that's our switching line. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want more information on any of this, it can be found at yachtd.com, uh, our, our website. Um, and one other thing to note, all of the circuit control, switch control, all use standard NEMA 2000 PGNs, so they're compatible with other switching products. Again, if you have any questions, want any more information, please visit us at yachtd.com, and thanks for viewing.